this is ikmc international kangaroo mathematics contest and i have taken questions from uh, past uh, year 2002 paper for pre equal year class 1 and 2 let's move to question number 1 which box contains the most triangles well in the question it is written that the boxes are given below in different options and we need to check the maximum number of triangles in that certain box and we have to count them so the box containing the maximum number of triangles is actually our right answer however before solving this question we need to understand to what is what are the geometrical shapes because different shapes are given in a big box and uh, first we need to understand them on the top left corner this triangle triangle definition is that it is having three corners right below is the square which is having four corners and all sides of the squares are equal square is given in yellow color and triangle is in pink color next to square is circle which is a rounded shape available in green color and having no corner above circle is the rectangle which is represented through the black boundary and its definition is uh, it is having four corners and only opposite sides are equal if we distinguish between rectangle and square then we can easily say that uh, in square all the sides are equal like the rubik's cube and uh, in rectangle only opposite sides are equal like two sides are equal opposite two sides are equal like the shoe box now move to the question which box contains the most number of question now we know that which one is the triangle we just have to count the number of triangles in each option option number a is having only one triangle option number b contains four triangles option number c is having two triangles option D consists of uh, three triangles and the last option E has only one triangle so after counting number of triangles in every box so we can easily distinguish among the options that which one is our correct option option number B is our correct option so this is our right answer now moving to question number two eric cuts this picture in half and puts the two pieces together so the question picture is given below and he has just cut the piece cut the question cut the question picture into two pieces, like a single picture into two pieces and now he has hidden the two pieces in the options given below and we have to check which one is the correct option which option shows the two pieces of eric's picture let us take one by one options and then solve our question option number a i have taken it on the top right corner like this now break the single picture into two and now rotate it anti-clockwise first we need to understand again what, that what is the difference between clockwise and anti-clockwise rotation turning right is the clockwise clockwise rotation like the normal clock rotates and opposite to the clock rotation is the anti-clockwise rotation left now if you want to rotate it uh, like um, clockwise or anti-clockwise rotation this is your own choice because we are not solving this question with the symmetry or mirror image method because this is this piece is exactly like the puzzle if we solve it and puzzle is printed on the above side not on the back side as well so we will solve this question like the puzzle and we have to just rotate it uh, rotate right like the clockwise or rotate left like the anti-clockwise this is your own choice and i have just uh, moved the right portion of uh, option number a the anti-clockwise because that was upside down <coughs> 
after rotating twice and clockwise we can check that this is not copying the exact picture that is given in question number two so this option is incorrect let's move to option number b option number b is also incorrect because if we can see option number a and b both are exact copying to each other without wasting a single second we have just put the cross moving to the option number c let's break the pieces of option number c and after twice rotation of uh, of, uh, of the left piece because that was upside down if we join them together then we can see this is also not the exact copy of the picture that is given in the question so option number c is also incorrect uh, moving to option number d why i have put the cross without explanation of option number d because it is also the copy of option number a how dead similar face pieces are joined together are next to each other and if we flip option number a vertically and then horizontally then we will get exactly the copy of d so we don't need to waste our time in theories of or explanations of option number d moving to option number e now break break the option number e into two pieces after twice uh, uh, anti-clockwise rotation joining the pieces we will get exactly the copy of the question and this is our correct option this is our correct answer in the last slide i have written the tricks of solving question number two when ikmc is not repeating the question but they are giving the question similar to the previous past papers that is why i have written the tricks here only the only for question number two because it's a lengthy question and if we know the tricks we can solve it in like two to three seconds however if we do not know the tricks then we can take like two to three or four minutes and you know that we need to fill the boxes properly with the ink pen and it takes a lot of time so question number two tricks are the first one is same face or similar pieces can't be the piece of one picture if we check option number a b and d sim same pattern of faces are joined together and these are not the pieces of one exact picture rule number two opposite face pieces can't be the pieces of a single picture if we check the um, opposite pieces if we know that there are opposite pieces which are joined together this one is not also the single the pieces of a single picture and if we check the option number e these one the two pieces are not the uh, like uh, not the similar one not the similar one not copying the a option and uh, this one is not also uh, similar to not also seem to like the opposite pieces joined together so we need to memorize these tricks in order to solve the question in like two to three seconds this will help you a lot while solving these type of questions thanks bye bye